Howdy folks, it's Monster Pandora here, and welcome to RubeWorks, the official Rube Goldberg invention game. Now, uh, I've, I've always kind of been a little bit of a, a fan of Rube Goldberg machines. You know, uh, if you don't know what that is, take a little peek here. It's just a really absurdly complicated invention to do a very simple task. In this case, wipe this guy's mustache after he has some soup. So he pulls on the rope, launches the cracker, or the toast, the parrot flies off, and then this thing falls down and dumps some water into the bucket, which makes this go down and open up the lighter, which lights the fire rocket fuse, which will pull the, pull the scythe, which cuts this string, allowing the clock to tick and wipe the mustache. So, you know, like, like, like I said there, it's, it's pretty crazy, um... And now I did do the first level because it's a tutorial that took forever. But now we're going to uh, slice a turkey. All right. Complete Professor Butt's invention to automatically carve the turkey. So let's take a look at what we got here. Um, we got a penguin. <laughs> got a cup. Got a little, I, I don't know what you'd call that, like a sand dispenser. Okay, so let's um, let's think about this. What What is the first thing that happens? The, uh, the um, is that wind blowing in? Put the turkey, no, where, where do we want the, uh, hmm. Okay, well, this is a real confusing start. We'll, we'll put this down. See what this is. See, they, they, like, kind of snap into place a little bit. Not a lot, but... Uh, you know, we'll, we'll just test. What's the first thing that happens? Put the bowl of chicken salad. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, put a bucket here, and we've got a uh, string. Can can this bucket attach here? Hmm. Do we want oh we want a sponge, that's probably it. Want a sponge. No. Okay, well we'll put the uh put the cup down and then see what that does. Uh it falls. Okay. <laughs> Um, hmm. Hmm. Because we, we want that whole thing there. Do we want this? Where do we want this? Do do. -do. Let's see, Rooster. What are you. Because the only thing I can think of is uh, that we want a sponge. Can we use string to tie the... Oh, okay, so it can go through that. And we'll see what happens here. Rooster recognizes his wife in the salad and is overcome with grief. Okay, so the sponge is right. This is not. Um, what do we want it to pull on then? <laughs> so that would make the sponge heavier, which would pull down on. I just want to see here. We'll do this. That will open up the little sand thing and pour it into this cup, which will lift this up here. Uh, what what would make that fan go? That's what I'm thinking. Okay, because I know that this belt has to go between these two. 
Uh, okay. It's almost like we want to turn the ice cream off. Oh! There we go. And then when this pulls down, it will lift this up just a little bit. I will leave the penguin up there. I don't really know what that's going to do, but let's go. Put the bowl of chicken salad on the window to cool. Rooster recognizes his wife in the salad and is overcome with grief. Is that all that happens? Oh! Oh, I didn't do this right. I, uh, oops. I did not do this right. There we go. Alright. Rooster recognizes his wife and is overcome with grief. His tears saturate the sponge, making it heavier. And that releases the sand. Into the cup. And that lifts up this, which the penguin will then flap his little penguin wings to make the fan go. Oh boy. Alright. Pro turkey slicers today. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. That is fantastic. Uh, no, we're good without the replay. It just goes through with this. What'd we get? One, two, three golden prunes. Alright. <laughs> so I, I love how wacky this game is. We're a genius, according to Professor Butts. Alright. We got some achievements there. Let's go ahead. Hmm. Well, now this isn't really an issue, but... Okay. Uh, let's think here. So we've got the garage door. Got a hose. Got a tank of some kind, and we got a gun. So what happens... You know, we'll just see what happens right at the beginning. You go, and you uh, hit the mallet. Okay, is... What is this? An exploding cap. Okay, uh, put that here. That seems to fit just a, a little nicely. Uh, what is that? That is a rabbit revolution long or revolving lawn sprinkler. A sleeping gadunk hound. Exotic winged flea. Okay, um, I'm almost thinking, yeah, you want it to wake up. We'll try this. Okay, well, the, uh, the cap did not wake him up. What, what would wake him up? I'm pretty sure that just squishing a rabbit would wake him up, but I don't want to do that. That'd be mean. Okay, hold on. Okay. Flea falls on Gedunk Hound's tail. That's, uh... That seems a little early for this, so... Oh! Okay. I'm thinking... The Gedunk Hound would need to be over here. With string... Attached to it. No? Um, get rid of it. Put it, put it back in our inventory right now. Okay, so the only way that this lawn sprinkler really makes sense is if we put it here next to the uh, water. And we want to activate this faucet. How are we going to do that? Um... Probably the way that makes the most sense. <laughs> the way that makes the most sense. Gosh, I'm really pushing that here. Okay, um, pole attached to a cork. 
Okay, so that needs to go in the in the tank. Yeah, yeah, okay, and then we'll hang the bucket. Is do we need to actually use rope? I think we do. Okay. So um when the gun shoots the bucket, the water will go into here and that lifts the cork up. Um, which pushes this down, and I don't really know what that does at this point. Oh, um, put the gadunk, gadunk down there, Stay on top of him, tie this to nothing. I don't know what this thing is for. That's the only thing I'm confused about is... Okay... Oh! Uh, we'll make the, uh... Make the Gedunk... Run... By dropping the flea on him... Um... Can we tie something to... We can tie something to the rabbit. Okay. And then have a string go from here to here to here. All right, let's test this out. So my theory, the snap will scare the rabbit, which will pull on the gun trigger, shoot the bucket, waterfalls in here, lifts this thing up, drops the little flea, which is winged, so it might fly over here to bite this thing, which will then start running around. Because normally it took off this way, but if it's running on a circular platform, then, you know, then that can do that. Let's just go. Oh wow, that's was, that was going quick. Oh, oh. It doesn't doesn't quite drop it into the right location. What do we need here? Oh, oh, we just have to put that on here instead. There we go. Cuz now it will turn on the faucet. There we go. Run, run, run. Water. There we go. Oh, we are pros at this. <laughs> oh, there's a penguin driving the car. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, perfect. Uh, let's see how many... We get three claps. Clap, clap, clap. Alright, three golden prunes. We are, we are inventing geniuses, guys. Uh, let's see here. I'm just gonna check the time. We got time for one more. Oh, I'm having a ball. This is really fun. I would strongly recommend this. I think it's on sale on Steam right now. I will link it in the description. Um, but I, it really wasn't that expensive. I think it was like five bucks or something. Let's see here. Device for closing the window in case of rain. Okay. So I almost feel like we have to start at the rain. So it has to be raining so that causes something. What do we have here? We've got... Okay. Got a flying rings, a circus monkey, a banana peel, a hot water bag. Okay. So it's raining. So what... Hmm. So I have the idea that we can pull this down with string. Loops here, loops here. So I'm gonna I think I think the flying monkey is like one of the last things we need to need to do. Or the the circus monkey. Let's see here. Because if we tie a string to here, to here, here, here. And then when the monkey jumps on it, it pulls the window shut. Okay. Um, so, what, does the frog turn around or something? Okay. Pet bullfrog jumps for joy. <laughs> we'll tie it to the bullfrog. Uh, we don't have anything else to tie the string to yet. Okay, a release hook. Yep, okay. So we got that right. There we go. That will... What will that do? 
bit rivet. Okay, so it just uh, pulls this thing up. Okay, well that was nice and convenient, I'll be honest. What is this? A disc with brackets, okay. Um, releases something here. Have I used up string where I didn't need it? I don't think so, I only had two little things of string. Uh, what is this? A tub of bread dough. Oh! Oh, the bread will... The bread will rise. The bread will rise, maybe. Uh, let's let's see here. Hmm. This one's tricky. Because of that little loop, I don't really know what that would do. Look in that look in that little latch let go of. Like, unless it can let go of the, uh, no, it can't do that. Hmm. Let me think. Oh, do I have something else? No, I don't. Alright, um, water bottle? Right, it said it had a loop on the water bottle. Okay, so the water bottle... Uh, then slides down. We'll just test that out. Water bottle slides down. Heat from the water bottle raises the yeast. Okay, okay, I'm on the right track here. I'm on the right track. Raises the yeast. Can the banana peel? Um, so that raises the yeast, and that will. Right, and can we, like, squish this down? I want to I want to see if I could like compress that down somehow. Oh no, that 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 works. Okay. And then we will launch the banana like right over the monkey's head over here or something and he sees the banana and he wants it. Okay, let's go. This this one's for reals. Raise the yeast. Oh. Oh, oh I get it. We'll push the monkey and then he'll slip on the banana peel. Yeah. Well, that's, that's animal cruelty right there. Well, we've got a bullfrog tied to a string, I mean. If, if, it, if it was in Australia, that'd be different. Okay, so the monkey is now down. He slips, and he reaches for the fly, and he shuts the window. Oh, boy. Perfect. You stop the rain from leaking through, and the family downstairs and thinning their soup. Oh. Oh, the roof from leaking through onto the family downstairs and thinning their soup. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> three golden prunes? Three golden prunes. Okay. Uh, well, this has been Monsieur Pandora plays Rube Works. I mean, I'm having a fantastic time here. Uh, you guys just let me know if it's something you enjoy. We got the Artisan Award with uh, the... I, I don't really know what this is. Looks like a really strange kind of spider. Oh, that was an odd noise. Okay. Um, Want to go to the simple way to locate your galoshes on a rainy day. Okay, well, we don't want to do this one yet. We, we, uh, we're we running on... We're running late. Or, not really running late. But, you know what? It's, that's, that's a good episode. That's a good episode. So, uh, like I said, this has been Monsieur Pandora plays Rube Works. If you had a good time, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and share. That's the important one right now. We want you to share. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.